Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. So, we're here at Falconfest, and I'm trying to remember if there was a contract for us. There is not. Alright, well, let's go see if we can find somewhere else to go. Uh, Harkin C, I suppose. We'll just go Harkin C, Koenigshaven. Ah! Alright, what does... Oh, it's a delivery thing. Uh, Spain the Younger's got his feet up on his table when you enter. He puts his hands behind his head, looking a little too relaxed for your taste. Good tidings, Captain. Let's say you take a leave from all that killing and dying. He raises an eyebrow at your response, which is precisely none at all. Ah, I figured you'd jump on that opportunity. No matter, it was a lie. I need you to take a certain package to Ulfric the Councilman, a fellow residing in Halheim. This cargo has undoubtedly garnered some ill-intentioned eyes, which is why I need your men watching it for me. If you're interested, which you should be, let's talk numbers. Sure, what's up? 500 crowns, eh? Hmm. More in advance? Damn! No, he's shouting at me. He's okay, fine. Five hundred crowns, it is. Jeez, pal. Dude got really mad at me. Okay, um, I feel like this is gonna be somewhat risky. So we got two days of provisions. How far are we traveling here? Where are we traveling to? Where? Where are we? Jesus. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll stop at Crumb Waiter on the way up. Oh! I'm being attacked. You're scared of what's using the vomit. A bandit thug and some bandit raiders. Oh dear. I think we have... Okay, so we've got even numbers and what the f... Oh, the terrain's all... How do I raise and lower the camera? Plus minus? That's kind of... Okay, there we go. Now I can see everything. Bandit raider, bandit raider, bandit raider, bandit raider, bandit thug, bandit raider. Alright, well, uh, who can we shoot? Why don't we shoot this guy? Or not. Good work, Hagen. Uh, bandit raiders are tough, too. Well, at least the guy with the reach weapon moved right the hell up to us. God damn it, I can't see anything. Okay, well. So we have Kettleman to move up here. I guess we'll just have everybody move up a step. Oh, you, you only have a buckler. You don't have a... Hmm. That's actually an issue. Well, um... Are they getting more turns? No, they're not. Okay, you can decide your turn then. I guess it's gonna move up. Now, let's try and get these guys. So, we want to try and stop the rest of them from getting up on, like, the top here. So, we'll move everybody up. Oh no, the bandit thug is going. Oh no. Alright, Kettleman. Nice. Otmar, get in and... Damn. Okay. Grimald up. Nice. Alright, so we got rid of that guy. Can you get up on the high, high ground? You can. Um, that will leave our other guy sort of split off though. There we go. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Oh, then you get a turn. Well, uh, why don't you just try and... God, it's... Can I rotate the camera? Hang on a second. Okay. I could have sworn there was a way to rotate the camera, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. So, such a life, I guess we'll just deal with not really being able to see what's going on down there. Uh, can you stun this guy, maybe? Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's also not good. Go. Poke him a couple times. Now, you, if you just step over here and accidentally shoot Kale in the back, good work. Oh no, not the bandit thug. He's scurry. Okay. Kettleman. Kettleman. Where can Kettleman take a bunch of damage from? Is he just injured from some. Oh, right. He got really badly hurt at the end of the last one. Well. That's unfortunate. Uh, can you break his shield, please? Thank you. Uh, oh, you also have a club. Interesting. Just bludgeon that guy to death, I suppose. Oh, Hagen, cool. Hagen, please! The love of God, man. Rude. Oh. God, I really, I really wish I could get that swap places trick. This was really handy. Uh, can you stun him? Oh, stun him! 
Okay, well, should break him, please. Thank you. Uh, let's try and beat this guy to death some more. Oh, how did he block it? He's stunned. Okay, can you... Unleash, unleash the hound! Dog is so good. Okay, Hagen. Uh, let's try this again. Hey! You still didn't hit the person you were aiming for, but you hit somebody, so kudos. Oh, that is unfortunate. Alright, let's try and get rid of the raider. He's, you know, the dangerous one. Nope. Oh, you. Uh, oh, that guy's almost dead. Thank you. And then... How far over here can you move? Not very... Let's try and get around behind my archer. Go, up and go this way. Try and get this raider. There we go. Okay, you need to be in the way here. Yo, don't try and hit my dog. Oh, he's just running away. Well, fine then. Hope you enjoy that parting crossbow bolt. Nope. Uh, why don't you go try and chase him down? Just, you know, make sure he's actually running away and he doesn't come back. Wait! Dick. He is, in fact, actually running away. Oi! Hit my dog. Okay, so this is the last guy left, he's just booking it. Chase him! You can't chase him very far, because you're really fatigued. No, no, we're not gonna... He's, he's right at the edge of the map, we're not gonna catch him. Aw, Kale and Otmar died. Oh, poor Otmar. Who am I gonna give the dog to now? We got a, ha we got a helmet! Nice. We also got a bill hook, actually. Boar spear? Wow, we got some really cool stuff. And uh, I think some people leveled up, actually. I did lose two people, though, unfortunately. Okay, Grimald, you level up. Well, nine lives, I suppose. Health, resolve, melee defense. There you, go. you need to be more centered. I'm kind of impressed that Grimald is the only one that leveled up in that fight. Now, you can have a better shield, and I can also give you a short sword, probably. Let's see, 30-40, 25-35, Okay, yeah, so you're probably better off with this. Um, you, that mace might be better. Morning star. 30-45, 20-30, so yeah, that one's better. And then Grimald, how would you like a puppy? Kettleman can get a nice hat. There we go. Good, good. I could give him a billhook. It has reach. Um, but I think he's probably better off with his big axe at the moment. And now we have a bunch of spare weapons for when we recruit some new people to replace those guys who died. Onwards to Crumbwaiter. Alright, good. We got here just before the shop's closed. Now, uh, da -da. Right, let's sell some junk that I'm carrying. Like this linen tunics I don't really need. Um, but I should really hang on to other stuff. Let's see if we can't recruit someone here. An antidote? Why is it glowing green? That seems unhealthy. Anyways, um, what have you guys got for hire? Wow. Okay. Valdemar. He's a cripple. Yay, lower hit points and lower initiative. Capture experience gain, not bad. A monk, higher resolve, lower max fatigue. As a servant, he just gets nothing. Fisherman. And another cripple. Well, uh, higher resolve sounds decent. And we hire Harbert. There we go. Um, let's see. Actually. Now, nah, we're probably better off having more people in the front line, I think. So you get a leather tunic and a nice Akaton cap. 
also get a four spear and a buckler. Congratulations. Welcome to your new life. Um, we've got plenty of provisions. We've got money for four days travel, so we actually don't need to get any more food. Nice. Onwards to Halheim. Uh, at Halheim, after some looking, a man asks who you're looking for. When you say Ulfert the councilman, he points you out toward a rather a nearby paddock where a man is starting about on a rather opulent looking horse. You walk on over, and the man rears the steed and asks if so that's the cargo Spain the Younger sent. You nod. Leave it there at your feet. I'll come and get it. You don't. Instead, ask him about your pay. The man sighs and whistles to a bodyguard who hurries over. See to it that this sellsword gets the pay he deserves. Finally, you put the crate on the ground and make your leave. Ooh, crown's well deserved. Alright, what is in town? There's a level 2 contract. Um, unfortunately, everything's closed at the moment. Let's wait a little bit, and we'll see about getting some stuff in the morning. Alright, so now things are open. We might be able to recruit a new person. Um... <laughs> I'm debating selling the billhook. Like, it's nice to have, but I don't... Like, I'd prefer to have more frontline people at the moment, and it would give me a bunch of extra gold. The only issue is, like, if at some point I do want, like, you know, a second-line pikeman, then the billhook's gonna be really good. Um, and I will. I just don't know when that's gonna happen. How about we just recruit a person or two? Auto the follower. A cultist? Oh, boy! Sure, I'll hire a cultist. Everyone else in town is really expensive. Alright, Otto the follower. What's your shtick? He's fragile. <laughs> the stranger writes in the dirt as quick as a man has done a thousand times. As soon as it's clear to see it reads. Oh my god, he's just writing in a crazy language. Okay, um, well, since you have Fragile, I'm actually just gonna put you in the back with, uh, with Hagen. So, congratulations on your new billhook. There you go. Try not to, you know, hit anyone with it. Well, try to hit someone with it, but not any of our guys. We appreciate it. And, uh, why don't you just keep that dagger on you, just in case. He's got tattoos and everything. Alright, um, let's see what this contract is. Wilhelm of, Hall Wilhelm of Hallheim is shaking when you greet him. He's practically frothing with anger. Or maybe he's just really drunk. Citizens of this fine town are starving. Why? Because bandits keep sneaking in during the night to raid the granaries. And if we catch them, they burn the buildings down. <laughs> Damn. Now we can't defend ourselves by sitting back. Now, I want to defend myself by killing them all. The man teeters for a moment as if about to spill himself across the desk. He studies before continuing. I want you to go kill these vagrants. Obviously. All you have to do is be interested and name your price. 190 crowns in advance and another 290 when the job is done. Dude, it's weak. More on completion. Nice. That's a bit better. That's like 500 crowns right there. Alright, uh, well. We got some money in advance. We could... Hire Baldemar. He's an archer. Um, that will leave my front line a little bit weak, though, so I'm going to pass on that. Alright, let's, uh, oh wait, shit. Tools, we need tools. Do you guys sell tools? You do. God, tools are so expensive. Here, take these monk's robes off my hands. And our cultist's tattered sackcloth. Um, and let's just make sure everyone's healthy-ish. Yeah, you're all at full... Kettleman's missing four health, unfortunately. Everyone else seems to be fine, though. Alright, in that case... By everyone around. There we go. Higher birds in good spirits. And let's go fight some bandits. Uh, your scout reports have seen the following. Many bandit thugs and a few bandit marksmen. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. There's no raiders, at least. This marksmen are going to be problematic, as they usually are. Wow, that is actually a fair few people. Okay. So, 46. 43. Unfortunately, I think the rain reduces chance to hit with ranged weapons, so... Nice shooting, Hagen. Oh, that guy's got a crossbow. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, all the bandits are gonna get to go first, so I'm not gonna move my billhook guy up yet. Just wait. Let's see how far the bandits move up. If I'm lucky, I can form a line on the, like, high ground. This doesn't look like there's any easy way for them to get up here. a lot of them, though. Let's see, there's three range guys, so there's seven melee guys that I'm gonna have to deal with. Well, I can 
form a line along here, and then we will have the high ground, which is good. So we want to do that. You gotta go here. And I guess, just get your shield up. You're gonna go over here. Spear out. Kettlemond, you don't have a shield or a spear, so just stand there, I guess. Grimald, shield up. Thank you. And Bill Hookman. There we go. Alright, what are the bands gonna do? Ah, get their archers to go first. And they're shooting at my guys with shields. It's a solid plan, I suppose. <laughs> everyone, everyone shooting at the guy with the shield. Okay. 52, 53, 57, 62, 62, 59, well, um, that guy has armor. Nope. That guy's injured. Oh. Immediately steps up. There we go. Well, friends, ow. Oof. Rude. Okay, so what does this billhook actually got? Assuming strike comes a distance of two tiles, you can use it behind the front line. Or, tire two miles away is hooked and pulled closer. Interesting. So this might actually be a decent front line weapon as well. Anyways, just don't smack that guy, I suppose. Alright, so, which one of these guys do I want more dead? I guess that guy. Oh, no luck. Okay, well. There we go. Alright, from the not archers again, because I guess they can't shoot into their teammates. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh! coming around the flanks. This is the problem with fighting enemies who outnumber you, is it's very hard to hold a, hold a line against them. Um. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. Alright, can we thank you, get rid of that guy, and then... Um, hmm. I'm gonna move you over here, actually, because I need you to back up, uh, Harbert. Kettleman, can you, like, hit something at some point? I don't think I'm asking too much here. Okay, I guess I don't need you backing up Harbert, because Harbert's fucking fine. There we go. Oh, you're too fatigued to do things. Oh, crap. Nope, oh, no luck. Oi, away from my archer. Damn it. Did you just shoot him? <laughs> that was funny. Hello, friend. Okay. Is something? There you go, Kettleman. Told you it wasn't too hard. Alright, you, I guess, can just move up to fight those two guys. Stop them from shooting at us. Oh, set your dog free. Thank you. Bark, bark. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you're actually fine where you are. Don't stab my dog. What did I just say? Oh, he's trying to. Oh, he was trying to run away. Okay, Kettleman, uh, I'm actually not sure what to do with you. I guess you can just go around this way. Eh. You better run. That guy's running. Uh, you're, Hagen, you're basically done. There's not really much else for you to do here. Let's see if we can circle around behind this guy. Or, or Kettleman will finally hit something. That also works. Chase him! We're not gonna catch him. 
Jesus, man. Everyone's so fatigued. Now it's over. And Herbert's dead. That is unfortunate, but we get a bunch of free stuff. Some pickaxes. A bunch of pickaxes. And I think somebody leveled up. Everybody leveled up. Well, most people leveled up. Finder the Militiaman. Nine lives, there you go. Now, melee defense, health, resolve, that's all good. Your, your attack is pretty good. Ah, good, Kettleman leveled up. Nine lives. You definitely need melee defense. So, well, your health's actually okay, I'm gonna get you some, some melee skill instead. Uh, Hagen. Melee defense or shooting targets, no gun can fire, reduced half for range weapons. That seems pretty useful. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that one. And you, let's up your range skill a little bit. Get some more range defense and some more resolve. There we go. Now, did I get any better equipment tubes? Not really. Everyone's everyone's probably got the best equipment for them at the moment. Um, you, I could give you an Akaton cap, but you don't really need one because you know you're at the back. Anyways, let's get back to Hallheim. Well, I'm Hallheim grins as he enters the room and lays a sack of heads on his desk. A sacked head on his desk. You need not stay in my fineries to show you've completed the task, sort I've already gotten news of your success. The birds in these lands do travel fast, don't they? Your payment is in the corner. 350 crowns as agreed upon. Sounds well deserved. And. Might be able to hire someone in town, but oh, there's another contract. Um, we could hire the poacher, but I don't really want the poacher. Well, uh, I guess we'll do that next contract next time, but for now, uh, I'm gonna call it. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>